Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwin with your first alert forecast. It's a good day to stay alert with your WECT weather app. Your weather headlines for the rest of this Thursday. Acknowledge that ILM Airport already netted a third of an inch of rain. We've chance for some more. A chance for some embedded storms, even some strong ones. But the good part about it is this morning rain keeping our lower atmosphere a little more stable. Instability is low for now. The more we can keep it that way, the better. Even independent of any storms, though, it's going to continue continue to be gusty and it's going to be continue to be rough on the water. So if you have any loose items around your porch or patio, we'll keep those shored up for the rest of the day. See the flag at access 18 really responding to that southeast wind in Surf City. Hard to ignore the surf as well. Churned up high risk of rip currents today, etc, etc. It's your Bob King GMC First Alert Skycam Network that can take us from Topsail Island to downtown Wilmington. Rainy is the view here at lunch. Officially 69 degrees at ILM Airport in the rain. Look at that southeast wind. That's no slouch and, and neither is the dew point. That's come up. We'll gauge that with the metrics in a moment. I do want to show you that all across the map temperature is pretty tight knit family within a couple of points of 70. Here's those dew points for the 5 to 15 higher than this time yesterday. It just means there's more moisture in the air and the approach of a front has been and will continue to efficiently convert that moisture into some rain wetting down your garden and, uh, and maybe you're itching to get into the garden this weekend. Plant some of those small seedlings uh, with the moisture given the uh, soil content uh, a little bit, a little bit of a shot in the arm there uh, with some of that uh, latest radar scan favorable as far as the moisture and heavy stuff offshore. Some upstream action in the Midlands of South Carolina. Some of this, by the way, responsible for that weather delay at the Masters. We still have a front in the area. Let's take it hour by hour. Four o'clock this afternoon. Showers, an option for a couple of storms, but already at this point, a lot of the uh, activity will have shunted to the east. That'll continue into the evening and overnight hours. So notice we get a clear window. Tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. is pull of a pause point. We don't have a surface front, but an upper level feature helping to generate some cumulus clouds and there may be just enough moisture for a stray passing sprinkle or shower with that. But overall rain chance is much lower tomorrow than today and Saturday. We don't even have that upper level feature on the map, so it's solid sunshine. Uh, the legacy of this whole system is going to be the blustery winds into tomorrow. Still breezy on Saturday, but the temperatures just agree for you unless you're like a really warm weather fan and it takes a lot to impress you. If that's you, then you need to feast your eyes on some of those not only 70s but 80s coming into the seven day forecast. So Kim, the weekend is just looking like postcard perfect and you want to sneak some time to the water. Sunscreen up as you do. Back to you.